So we've got another grocery haul for you. It's not a payday grocery haul because, you know, much like last month, I'm still waiting to be paid. Yeah. This is a Surviving the Edinburgh Festival as a local <laughs> um, <laughs> grocery haul because the kids are off school. Yeah. There's tourists. Yeah. There's the Edinburgh Festival. Yeah. Um, the population of Edinburgh increases how much? Between two and three. Yeah, so it gets quite overbearing and... If I've been working in a gelato shop, which is pretty like full on this time of year, the last thing we want to be doing is going to the shops every week and having to deal with it. I mean, even while we were doing this, there were like families shouting and kids running around and babies crying, and it was just like, ah, it's too much. <laughs> I just, no, thank you. I just no. can't. It's just overwhelming, overbearing, and it's just too much. So. Very much so. We've gone for a big shop, so hopefully this will definitely get us through to the end of the month. Oh yeah. We might have to like go and get a lettuce or something, but you know, if you're going like a quick in out, that's not as big a deal because you know you mm. can put your headphones on, just march in, march out, done. Um, but it means that we don't have to do a shop, and we don't yeah. have to deal with like such an intense situation, <laughs> which is it, it does it gets far too much if you're like in the middle of it for the entire month. Absolutely. So. Let's begin. Do you want to start with your bag? Yeah, sure. So you got the heftier bag. I took my, my big bag that we're going to be taking to China later in the year. So I didn't take the huge one. I took the kind of medium sized one. We probably could have taken the big one. Yeah. But there we go. So you got the frozen food. Yay! Broccoli. Because, um, oh, and peas. Because not all fresh veg is going to last us till the end of the month. So yep. that way we've got some frozen backup stuff that will last us a bit longer. Uh, Linda McCartney sausages were a pound each. These all last us way past yeah. August. We just like to put these in the freezer. They'll probably last us another six months. Cause Emergency rations. Yeah, exactly. Um, tins. We've got what we normally do. I've just kind of doubled up on everything. So we've got two lots of pineapple. So I was thinking of making sweet and sour... Uh, plus we do the pineapple fried rice, yep. so there's two of those. Sweet corn. Two lots of sweet corn, again I'd normally get one, but two will get us through the month. Coconut, uh, milk. coconut milk, two, because it was two for a pound, and yeah, again, get used. this will last us like a lot longer because we don't yep. actually go through that much. Um, and two lots of kidney beans, because if you go back to the payday grocery haul I bought one of those we used it as like a last minute we've not really got much to throw it in yeah. uh, the other day so um, two of those to get us through mm -hmm. and um, also tortillas, tortillas. tortillas because they'll last a while so what we can do is when we start getting to the end of things mm. we can use the tortillas we can use a tin of kidney beans, we've got some sata from last time. We can make something like a chilli with uh, like roasted corn or stuff. This is where like the tins and the frozen stuff come in. Um, okay. So this will be towards the end of the month type stuff that doesn't have to be used immediately. See, the thing I've got to interject with briefly uh -huh. before we go on to the mushrooms mm -hmm. is that for most people, things like that is that, oh, this is all I have. Ugh. Whereas you just saying, mentioning that, I'm like, I'm really looking forward to that meal already. Because yeah. you just don't go, right, here's some leftover stuff that I've got, I'll chuck it in, all in a mm. pan, but there you go. Mm. Eat st you still take the care and attention, and they're, they're flavoured, and they're spiced, and they're seasoned, mm. and um, an effort's still made. And mm. so, yeah, it's corn out of a tin but it's still char it's still yeah, charred it'll be charred and it's got flavor with it and it'll be have stuff added to yeah, it and, and i just thought i should mention yeah i'm looking forward to that already <laughs> even though this is uh uh we've run out of everything there we go. yeah uh on the fresh side we've got mushrooms uh because they won't last very long however in the new morrison's uh recyclable bags they're getting rid of their plastic ones and they have these ones which are 100 percent recyclable but this isn't still recyclable and this isn't still recyclable, so you know, Morrison's, if you can do this, you can do the other things. Come on, come on, Morrison's. It's a start, Do it, yeah. Uh, aubergine, because I like doing miso aubergine. Yeah. So that'll be something that gets used pretty quickly as well. Spring onions. Spring onions. Now, while the spring onions will get used quite quickly, they'll be cut to about there. These bits will be put in water, and by the time we get to the end of the month and I'm doing the nachos and everything, it would have regrown, so I can then use even more of it. No. 
So always put these in water, treat them like flowers and they will regrow for you. Speaking of things that regrow, we have disgusting mm -hmm. celery. Blech. I really like celery, uh, as you may have guessed. No. Ivy, mm, not I so much. I hate celery, but you really like it, so that's fine. But again, put it in water, treat it like a flower. It won't necessarily regrow, but it will last a lot longer. Yep. So my been... granny, my granny always used to keep these in a vase. Yeah. Always. Yeah. She didn't put it in the fridge, she had a vase with the, the celery, celery in it. See now the thing I've got to say is that like is... I do like them. I'm, I'm not a massive massive fan, but I do like them. However there was a thing we saw several years ago, because it was on TV, which we no longer <laughs> watch. Uh, and apparently celery is a negative food, because the... Because if you eat nothing but celery and celery juice, it, it does, it kind of burns more energy to like... Yeah. That's because your stomach's trying to violently get rid of it. Of course it's going to like use up more I've energy because it's like... It. Of course Anytime it is. I mention this. Yeah, it's because it's you, disgusting. You burn through more calories consuming it vomit down. than you actually gain <laughs> from the celery. I, I, it still doesn't make it okay. I'd here, still rather not eat it. Here's me trying to provide a sincere and honest and helpful health tip. And people are about to be going, oh yeah, I... I think I understand what you're saying, it's not but, worth I, it. but I can't hear it over the... It's not worth it! <laughs> right, a giant I lettuce. I love you so much. It's not worth it! Um, a wonky cabbage. Um, I might make some sauerkraut out of that, because that is a giant cabbage. Um, a cucumber. These are the things that, like the lettuce and the cucumber, are the things that we might have to go and replace, but to be honest, I might just forsake them for a couple of weeks. And also Morrison's of selling cucumbers without packaging. They are indeed. Go there. Um, more wonky onions. We still have some of the red onions left from last time. But we got these for kind of cooking and the red ones are good in salads. That way we kind of have both. Covered. Plus they last forever and worst comes to the worst, I'll just make a um, French onion soup. Yeah. I mean, um, like what, 40p? Yeah, exactly. So they'll last, it'd be fine. Um, we've got some soy yogurt. Uh, this is good until the 28th. We've already got one in the fridge, so between the two, that is us covered until the end of the month. You got these as like a wee treat. Because so these will be gone by the end of the day. Um, the uh, high protein, low fat passion fruit poster. thing. Yeah, I really like those. They're nice. Yeah. Then by the time move... you're watching this, long gone. Then we move on to the big bag. <laughs> right, let's get of this doom. Of doom. Can I get a hotel? <laughs> Try to get the damn thing. Open. Right. So. What have we got? We've got uh, pears. Again, they're doing the wonky ones at the moment, which is nice. Yep. So these are for you to take with you to work. Yep. Over the next, well, you're working nights at the moment, but yep. by the time they're not rock hard, yeah. Yep. Um, we've got a lot of dried stuff again to kind of help us take this through to the end of the month so mm. pearl barley yep. we had this i quite like this um i used to have it in france under the name ebly and it took me forever to figure out that ebly is just pearl barley so when i moved to scotland i was like oh my god you have it here because i couldn't find it down south but still mm. i love this stuff and we also had it in zagreb in like uh with sweet corn in garlic um, so yeah pearl barley this will last until 2019 so you know we're good. That's fine. You saw these gungo peas, um, and there's a recipe for gungo pea curry. So, again, dried things. These mm. will probably last us like six months. So. To be fair, I saw them and I was like, "What the hell is that?" And they went, oh. uh -huh. and the recipe, and then went gungo pea curry. Oh, that sounds really nice. <laughs> so I was like, "I'm buying that." Also, chickpeas because we can then <laughs> we can then make hummus. Yep. We can make curry. Um, it's funny enough, perfect chana masala. Uh, yeah. Perfect chana masala. What can you not do? Mm. So yeah, chickpeas. Um, two lots of Jalfrezi mix because we really like it. Sprinkles. It's quite nice to like a crunchy sprinkle on top of a curry because it can just be, you know, like soft. It's yeah. more soft and a bit more soft. So. And if you don't have any dried onions to hand, which we do, we but, you know. Exactly. Variety. So, variety. Marrow fat peas. Now I was brought up on these tinned marrow fat peas, which are oh. awful, but I love them. Because they're, they're like bright green. When you tip the water out, it's like 
luminous green. They are so bad for you, but I love oh, them I so much. Them. My, my parents weren't good on like fresh vegetables, <laughs> but I've got some dried marrow fat peas because at least there's one ingredient in these and it, they're not going to be soaked in like fluorescent mm. green liquid. But the reason I got this is because I quite like making pea dal. So instead of using like lentils, which we've got in the cupboard, or gongo peas, or whatever, using marrow fat peas, pea dal. I was going to say something vaguely nice about your folks there. So sorry, I'll <laughs> apologise in advance. But at least, whilst granted most of it was food colouring, but you were getting your greens. <laughs> yeah. Moving on to something else my parents used to like make me live on when I was a child. Instant mashed potato. Now, bear with me on this one. Uh, we have potatoes because you bought potatoes like wonky potatoes the other day. So we've got a big thing of like wonky potatoes. But again, they're not going to last because they'll start sprouting and they'll last like a week, maybe two. Um, but what I was thinking was with this, because this is just potato flakes, yeah. you can use it with like other vegetables to try and like uh, bind it together. So we could make like the kofta, yeah. or we can add a sprinkling of it to a curry to thicken it. So I've got that mainly for experimental purposes uh, at the end of the month. Plus, again, it is good until 2019. And it's so we've got plenty of cost time. 20p. Oh, exactly. Oh, We've got uh, cooked beetroot, which again, it lasts until December, so, you know, you really, we both really like beetroot. Yeah, beetroot too. Um, I rediscovered my love of beetroot when you moved up. Exactly, beetroot is awesome. Yeah, but um, I've not had it anymore. So. Radishes. She like radishes as well, don't yeah. you? Plus, as well, with that and the cabbage, I could make like a little batch of kimchi. Yeah. Um, what else have we got in the veg front? Tomatoes. tomatoes, big thing of tomatoes, because again, just chopping them up on things, putting them in things, I use yeah. them quite a lot. A wonky cauliflower, which will last us quite a while. Um, these more hardier things will last us kind of into next week. No. Um, maybe longer if if we're sensible or yeah. lucky with them. Um, wonky peppers, these lasted us, like I bought these in the last haul on payday and I've only just finished them. So these do last quite, quite a long well. time. Yeah. While it says display until 12th of August, they will last a really long time. So that will get us through the month with those. Um, my beloved oh, yeah. orange juice, because I love oh, orange yeah. juice. I've got some left over from work because I bought some at the weekend. Uh, plus this, I'm gonna dilute it with water because I'm one of those weird people. Um, so I do like half juice, half water. So while it probably won't last me the entire month, it will last me quite a long time. Um, they didn't have the rice noodles that I normally get. So, and we've got rice and we've got pasta left. Yep. So I've got this to kind of like tide us over. Because while we've got pasta, we've not got a hell of a lot. Yep. And while we've got rice, we've not got a hell of a lot. So between the three of all of this and like the... Uh, Kalbali, this yeah. will easily get us through. So they were like a kilogram was a pound, or these were like two for a pound. So I've got one regular and one whole wheat, so we can use them as noodles. Yeah. Because that's quite nice. We can make yes. all kinds of things. And then, oh. last of all, you really like almond milk. Yeah. So that one's for you. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, Enjoy. Um, and then we've got. Soy milk. Enough soy milk to get us through <laughs> the whole month and for you to take to work. To take to work. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! So we've got all of the soy milk. I'm going to yoink. Those two for your work. And these four for at home. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think, I think we could avoid going back to the shops for the entire month if we're sensible. Or if we do need to go, like you say, it would mm. be one of us going, right, I'm going to go It would just be a hit and run and we would just go in and get out, yeah. Headphones on. Yeah. I'm not ignoring you, I'm just pretending you all don't exist. Yeah. Which is good because it, while it wasn't too bad because we went pretty early, it no. was still kind of stressful this morning with yeah. the screaming. <laughs> yeah. The constant screaming in the background. Um, but yeah, I am now a lot more chilled oh. and calm and relaxed. Now we don't have to do that again exactly. until um, everything's kind of back to normal. Which will be the end of the month. Mm -hmm. 
so yeah there you have it there is a grocery haul to get us through the edinburgh festival so we can hide at home away from like all the hordes yeah <laughs> uh, so yeah thank you for watching uh please subscribe because we're still trying to hit that 1000 uh magic subscriber number um, you have a patreon or a patreon, patron or yeah. whatever you call yeah. so help for that because uh, you get extra videos on that which you don't see on youtube Mm -hmm. And, 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 you'll get a postcard. Yep, there are postcard mm -hmm. options, there's all sorts of options. But yeah, thank that. you for watching. Please subscribe, go to Patreon, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.